Welcome back to the Dakota Dome. Today we have the South Dakota Showdown. It's South Dakota against South Dakota State, and we're rocking the all red uniforms as we have this big rivalry game. South Dakota State leads the series 55 to 53 with seven ties, and they have really dominated in recent years. We have lost 10 straight, trying to get our second win on the season and end this year with Senior Day at home on a high note. We have 11 seniors today, and we'll see how they can play in their final game. Toby Cote is our leading tackler, and Mac DeGene. They are both seniors. Shaq Rivers and Keith Barge are good offensive weapons, but the note for South Dakota State is no Terry Fowler. Adam Allen, the senior quarterback, will making his first career start in his final game of his college career. He will start off with a gain of 12. South Dakota State is 2-9 and nine on the season. They started 2-2 two and two and have dropped their last seven. Of course, we won our first game against North Dakota and have dropped 10 straight since then, losing last week to North Dakota State, a game in which we didn't play too bad. But there's a big play. Keith Burge into the open field. He's going to take it all the way for a 60-yard touchdown. He is their best offensive weapon, and he is a senior for that South Dakota Jackrabbit team. Ethan Smith hopefully will play more today. There's a number of talented players on this South Dakota State defense though. Second down and nine, Jared Miller can't get the throw away as it's Tony Washington in coverage. Now third down and nine, looking to set up the screen pass. Jalen Page is there and the shoestring tackle probably stopped the first down. But like I was saying, we lost last week 41-26 to North Dakota State. Didn't play too badly, but the Bison had 341 yards on the ground. 200 yards for Bryce Johnson as there's a big 27 yard run for Shaq Rivers. This is an option attack for South Dakota State and it really hasn't been as effective as I thought it'd be in their transition to FBS and the offense really has just struggled more than I really thought they would. Now here's Adam Allen on the play action. He scans the field, he finds Patton and he's down at around the 11 or 12 yard line. That Patton is of course he is the brother of Jacoby Patton, a freshman receiver who is redshirting currently for us. There's a good tackle for loss by Jeremiah Glover. And now they'll spread the field with four wide, setting up the screen pass. Toby Cota's there and not able to bring him down. Rotundi is spun down and stopped. He won't pick up the first down. So South Dakota State will just kick the field goal. Our offense is back on the field. We ran the ball 28 times for only 51 yards last week. Couldn't get anything going. And that sort of continues as we do see Ethan Smith, the senior quarterback, check into the ball game. He's got a lot of room to run. He tries to stretch it outside and will pick up 21 yards as he definitely will see more time today in his final college game. Now it's Ethan Smith once again on the option. He's got room to run again. And it's another chunk game this time for 26 yards. Smith still in the ball game. He'll fake the give and keep it. And this time he will lose four yards. Now Smith really the quarterback on this drive and he'll lose yardage once again as South Dakota State really starting to figure out this option attack as Jared Miller will check back in on third down and long. He'll go to the air, throw it outside and it'll head towards the mascot intended for Deontay Knox but nowhere close. Kenny Matson, the junior punter, South Dakota native, will come on for the punt and it looks to be a great one as it pins them inside of the five yard line. Allen will roll out to the left, hit as he throws, it's nearly intercepted. There's another senior defensive player nearly with the pick six in the end zone. That was Nick Krutzberg. A number of uh, seniors on this defense. Krutzberg, of course, as I mentioned, Coda DeGene, and then Pedro Chiquetti is a senior at defensive tackle. Running back will move in motion. There is a good play by Sylvia. Actually, that's Shadow Hansen, the left end, on the tackle for loss. A split backfield on second down and 14, throw into the flats for Rotundi. He breaks one tackle, tiptoes down the sideline and steps out after a 17-yard gain. Rivers is the running back as Burge will come in motion and uh, Allen is just stuffed and will end up losing two yards. Second down and 12, three wide set. They'll give it right up the middle from the pistol to Rivers. He breaks one tackle, breaks another, breaks a third, and now he's into the open field. It'll be Xavier Warner who finally brings him down. Second down and two. Allen, not a great runner, but he's shown some nice ability so far as he's got another big run. This one's going to go all the way. It's a 40-yard touchdown for the backup quarterback 
He's made a big impact so far as the Jackrabbits extend their lead to 17 to nothing. This Coyotes offense has to get something going and that's not what you want to see, a loss of one on the screen pass. Trip to the left with Gilbert and went in the slot as Miller will go to the air. He had a man open underneath but really looking downfield for the big play and the sack will force a three and out. Now South Dakota State back on offense as it's DeGene on the tackle. Burge pits up 12 yards, 72 yards so far in this first half. Now on the counter, Rivers is into the open field. He'll go untouched for 27 yards. The story of the season is continuing to play out here. The inability to stop the running game by this Coyotes defense. Now Miller will go to the air on first down and 10. A little dump down to Deontay Knox for 8 yards. Knox has over 500 yards entering today's ball game. Smith checks back in. He keeps it on the option. Good black block by Wagner as Smith picks up seven yards. Now Page and Libby both in the backfield as the pitch will go to Libby. He's into the open field and a good run on the triple option for nine yards. Trenton Klimper will check in. They'll fake it to the junior and Smith will keep it and go straight up the middle for 11 yards and a first down as we're inside of Jackrabbit territory. Split backfield once again as Smith will keep it. He keeps the pitch alive. Good job by Jalen Page staying ready for the pitch. He picks up 13 yards. Klemper checks back in once again as it'll be Smith keeping it and another good run for him. He's pretty much got most of our rushing yards so far. An up-tempo attack now as the give will go to Klemper. He's got some room right up the gut. It's a 10-yard gain. Seeing a lot of the running backs involved and both quarterbacks. Definitely good to see and see if we can get a touchdown here. And Smith will get in. He's got a rushing touchdown, one of his few this year, as that'll be South Dakota's first touchdown on the day. Allen will go to the air, cross middle, open. It is Burge. DeGene was in coverage, but it's a 15-yard gain. Now a twin tight end look as Allen will just keep it. And now someone needs to find that man a compass as he's running around in circles and will lose five yards. So third down and 15. Let's see Adam Allen see how he can do here. And it's a sack. It is Juan Pablo Akuma, the third defensive tackle on this team. He is also a senior coming up with a big play on senior day. Now Pierce Libby gets the carry. He'll go up the middle and pick up a good game. Once again, going to this up-tempo attack and running a lot of option as there's six yards for Pierce Libby on his fourth carry of the day. Haven't really seen the Coyotes really experiment much with the up-tempo attack. They have done a little bit this week and a little bit as well last week against North Dakota State. Sticking with this same style of the option and on second down and two, Ethan Smith will lose two or three yards as that time it does not work out well. We'll go to the air though as Jaron Miller's back in. He throws and misses an open receiver as a tight window and just off the mark as it will be a punt for South Dakota once again. Minute 20 to work with for Adam Allen. He's got all day to throw moves in the pocket to his left. He finally finds Patton who's into the open field. He breaks one tackle. He's inside a coyote territory to around the 42 or 43 yard line. Minute 11 left, split backfield as Adam will go to the air. He dumps it down to the flats. Rivers breaks one but is brought down. And there is a flag down on the play. We'll have to see what that is as it is clipping called on the Jackrabbits. So that will back them up. Now third down and 16 from the pistol. Allen will go to the air. He throws outside wide open. It's Patton along the sideline for a 22-yard gain. He now has 72 yards on the day and somehow got a foot in bounds there. Now we're under a minute left. As Allen will throw once again, he's got Jackson right across the middle and he's down inside of the one yard line, a 25 yard gain. Up tempo trips to the left, Adam will go to the air, the ball's out and it's Pedro Martels who recovers the fumble, it's Toby Cota, the senior middle linebacker who's made plays all year, our leading tackler forces the fumble. So no more points on that drive for South Dakota State as we will head into halftime down by 17 and we'll have to see if our offense can come alive and make this more of a ball game as it's been big chunk plays for the Jackrabbits and our offense outside of the option really hasn't been able to get much going, only 15 yards of passing offense 
A lot of total offense though for South Dakota State. Ethan Smith will start at quarterback to open up the second half. He gives it off up the middle for Pierce Levy who picks up two yards. Miller back in on third down, setting up the screen pass for Jalen Page. He gets a little play similar to Allen earlier and will end up losing a yard or at least no gain there. And it's a three and out forced by South Dakota State. Adam Allen very good in that first half, 219 yards passing. We've seen all year though, we saw it especially against Texas State unknown quarterbacks. When they play us, they make big plays, and there's a big play for the running back Shaq Rivers. He's into the end zone for a 42-yard touchdown. He had 671 yards, 4.4 yards per carry, and he is doing a lot better than an average so far today. Dumped down to the left for Knox, as Jeremy Miller had time to throw there and just went conservative on the throw underneath. Play action as Miller will throw outside, this time to Nate Wentz and it is the sophomore receiver who comes away with a nice reception. Trips to the left with Went and Gilbert in the slot. They'll go Knox's way. He gets into the open field. He's still going, and he's brought down inside of the 35-yard line, a 26-yard gain. We may see some more of this passing attack as we are down by 24 points now. There's Richie Campbell, the sophomore receiver, with a good play there. Correct that, Richie Campbell is a junior, Nonetheless, it was a nice play. Now a dump down for Page. He's inside of the five, inside, and it will be a goal to go after the 12-yard reception. Mike Algram into the game in the slot, and Miller will go down. He'll lose nine yards on the sack as it was McGarry in the backfield. Now third down and goal. Let's see what Miller's able to do. He's hit as he throws, and it'll fall incomplete. So ball at the one-yard line, and we weren't able to score. Malachi Peterson, the senior kicker, will come on and tack on some more points, but it'll still be a three-score possession. Screen outside to Patton, and it is Jeremiah Glover on the tackle. Rivers in the backfield along with Allen. They'll go to Rivers. He's got some room to run. It's another nice run for him as he and the Jackrabbits are now over 200 yards rushing on the day. Quick screen outside, room to run for Burge. As Warner can't bring him down, it's Bukowski who finally pushes him out of bounds after a 20-yard reception. Now trips to the right with the tight end Hayden Andrews in the game. They'll look his way. He's another senior playmaker. I haven't really heard much from him so far today as that is his first reception. Now Rivers will move in the backfield. Terrell Rice can't bring him down, but Bukowski does make a nice tackle as Rivers will go down with an injury. We'll have to see if he's able to return today. It's Saldana on the blitz from the outside, and Sean Saldana, the sophomore reserve corner, comes away with the sack, and South Dakota State will be forced to kick the field goal. Deontay Knox will fake the pitch to DeGene, and he'll just keep it himself. He's past the 30, past the 40, and nears the 50-yard line on the return. It would be brought back a little bit as he did step out of bounds. But first down and 10, throw down the sideline. It's caught by Deontay Knox. In tight coverage, somehow comes away with that one. What a catch by our number one receiver. Now it's a five wide look. We'll throw outside and Nate Went drops that one. He has over 10 drops now on the season. That's been one of his biggest problems. Miller will throw. There's Richie Campbell, the number five receiver on the 11 yard reception. He already has four catches today, which is great to see. Hopefully he can have a big year in year two and maybe establish himself more in this receiving core. Good keeper though for Miller as we have another goal to go possession. Ball at the six yard line, back of the end zone. It's Delvante Bell. That is Jared Miller's 10th touchdown pass on the season. And now we'll go for two. Miller will look to his right, throw that way. It's intercepted, looking for Bell once again. It's West now on the return. And it'll be Dion Gilbert who pushes him out of bounds, and that'll make it an 18-point game. We near the end of the third quarter. Rotundi makes a couple of plays as Shaq Rivers will not be returning today, and I guess, in effect, his season is done. South Dakota State looking for their third win, and they're in great position to secure it today as it's a 14-yard gain by the backup running back. Three down linemen. Allen will keep it this time. Coda in pursuit. And he, along with another coyote, do bring him down. We will enter the fourth quarter 34 to 16. 
Hopefully we can maybe make a comeback, not probably very likely, but would be great to see some nice strides to end this season by both our offense and defense. Here is the third string running back Hill on the carry and he'll take the draw play for 11 yards. Now second down and six, Hill still in the ball game as Adam Allen will keep it. He goes up the middle and it is Terrell Rice who hits him once he gets into the end zone, but it'll be another touchdown for the Jackrabbits. Most likely, we will only see Ethan Smith the rest of the day. Let the senior finish out his final quarter in college football by himself as the only quarterback. Deion Gilbert comes in motion. He's got some room to run, and the wide receiver will take it up the middle for 19 yards. Page is your running back in a 2x2 two two set by the wide receivers, as Page will get the carry and pick up 4 yards, so it'll be 3rd down and 4. Page stays in the game as Tate Wagner is now the tight end, and Smith is met and will lose two yards, and looks like the offense will stay on the field. Ethan Smith's going to have a chance to throw the ball here. He dumps it down to Bell, and it's another first down conversion for Delvonte Bell. He's made now a touchdown catch, a long 66-yard catch against North Dakota State, and all pretty much all of his other catches seem like dump downs on Third, second down, something like that, all for first downs. Trenton Klimper up the middle, though, and the 5'7 running back gets a chunk gain, but there is a flag down, and it will be coming back, so that'll set up third down and long as the run play is called back. Third down and five, Libby will get the carry. He goes right up the middle. He's got some room to run. Tony Washington in pursuit, and will bring him down after a 33-yard gain. Gilbert comes in motion. Smith breaks one, pitches it outside. It's Libby who loses the football. That's his first fumble. It's recovered by the number one corner for the Jackrabbits. And it looked like we had a chance to get some more points on the board. Great position to do so. But a big hit by the defensive lineman jars the ball loose. And now South Dakota State maybe just has a chance to run this clock out. They'll go screen outside to Burge. Over 260 yards passing for Adam Allen. A great final game for him in his college career. Now they'll run it straight up the middle for Rotundi for 14 yards, as it was Bryson Williams, the strong safety, who brings him down. Minute 40 left in year one, as it's Williams on another tackle. We get to see if there's any people who can really make some impact plays in the final minute of this season. There's Warner who can't bring him down, and Adeline Allen is still going. Another 300-yard rushing performance for a team facing the Coyotes. And we will lose our 11th straight game on the season. We knew it probably wasn't a great sign when on the third play of the game, Keith Barge took this 60 yards for the touchdown, breaking one tackle, and then outrunning the rest of the Coyote defense. But the story pretty much stayed the same all year. Offense wasn't consistent enough to keep us in games. And when they weren't clicking on all cylinders, our defense was giving up 300-yard performances on the grounds to pretty much every team it seemed like we played. And tough scene here, Ethan Smith just sitting on the bench his final game in a rivalry game, just going out with another loss, 11 straight for him to end his college career. J.R. Miller wasn't super accurate today, only 136 yards. Ethan Smith, though, good performance to end his college career, 82 yards on the ground with two 20-yard plus runs. And on the defense side of the ball, Ross Bukowski with 12 tackles, nine tackles for Toby Cota, four tackles for Mac DeGene, and number of tackle for loss for both of them. Juan Pablo Kuma gets his first sack of the season in his final game in the red and white. You can see over 500 yards of total offense, nearly 600 for South Dakota State. When we look at the schedule, we opened the season with a uh, miraculous all-time win against North Dakota and followed that up with a lot of blowouts, very few close games, and just a tough year one. Was a lot of fun to make, but now we look at the top 25. UCF up to number eight. Texas still the unanimous number one. Alabama now down to number 15. North Dakota State up to number 20. And Virginia Tech, I mentioned them in the last episode, they are still in the, uh, not even close to the top 10. No one left in our recruiting class that we can really accept. No one that I'm really all that interested in either. We do have some very exciting players in our recruiting class, 
but I hope you did enjoy season one. It was a lot of fun to make, not always the best games in terms of the final result, but a lot of fun, a lot of fun to meet this roster and these players. But if you did enjoy season one, please leave a like down below. The next video will probably be coming out in the next couple of days. I think I'm gonna do a season one recap, followed by streaming the first off season of the series, most likely on this coming Saturday, probably around one or 2 p.m. But I will see you next time for that recap. Hope you have a great rest of your day.